Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. And if you haven't been here before, please subscribe to be a part of the family and to see my bilingual as trying to speak. So in today's video, I wanted to do another Shop My Stash because I really, really enjoyed the last one. I think uh, in the last one, the makeup was really nice and I just really liked the concept of Shop My Stash. So yeah, I'm going to Shop My Stash right now and I'll be right back. Okay, so starting off with base products, these are my base products, so we're gonna go here and uh, we're just gonna check it out. So these are foundations, concealers back there, primer situations here. I actually don't know which one I wanna use for today, but I'm guessing that I'm gonna use this one because uh, this is a new foundation and I really wanna use this one. And then for concealer, I'm actually not sure. Um, I kind of wanted to do my shop my stash today with a bunch of the new kimchi chic products I think I'm gonna take this one from kimchi as well. This is their concealer I'm gonna take the essence primer which is this one um, And then I might take a little bit of this Kevin and Kwan liquid illuminator because I really like that one then for base products here we are I don't have any base products from Kimchi, so we're gonna shop something else. This is the closest one, so I'm thinking about this one or um, the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Joy. Um, I kind of want to do a pink look, but I feel like this blush might be just a little bit too much with a pink look, so I'm gonna take the closest blush. Then for bronzer, um, I'm actually not sure which bronzer that I want to use. Maybe a cream one today because it's been a while since I've done a cream one. So I'm thinking about my Fenty cream one or my oops, my Nude 6. Hmm. But I think for today I'm going to go with the Fenty one because it's been a while since I've used that one. Think. Okay, so we already have a highlighter, which is the liquid illuminator from Kevin Kwan, but I do want to maybe just in case take something else. So I think I'm going to take the Milani one. This is the strobe light one in the shade Afterglow. I'm going to take this one and see if I want to put it on top or not. Eye products are in here. You can already see that I have a few kimchi products um, these are like eye glitter so we're gonna use those today and I'm also gonna use this new palette that I have from them this is the juicy nine mango tango palette maybe like a liner would be cool so I think I'm gonna take one of the color liquid liners uh, maybe like this lilac -y color I don't know what I want to do for lips yet, so I'm gonna come back to this later. So yeah, we have some products, so let's go! So we picked up all of the products that I want to use today, so I guess we are just going to get started. And I think I'm gonna start with uh, the eyeshadow because I don't know how, how much fallout this has. And I just sometimes find it easier to complete my base when I already have my eyeshadow on to kind of complement everything and stuff. So today we're going to use the Kimchi Chic Juicy Nine Mango Tango Eyeshadow Palette. This is the actual palette, so it looks really cool. It has like a mango right here. When you open it, you have one of these. Uh... Then you have Kimchi here, and then this is the eyeshadow palette. I really like the look of the eyeshadow palette because it looks really uh, fun and stuff. So I'm gonna start with this eyeshadow palette. These are obviously first impressions so I don't really know how this product works or anything like that. I also picked up the Kimchi Chic The Most Concealer which looks like this. I'm obviously gonna use that to conceal my under eyes but I'm also gonna use this to prime my eyelids. So the concealer has a brush applicator. This is actually one of those products that I have used already. We're gonna take a sponge and I'm just gonna 
I really don't know what I want to use first. But I think I want to kind of do somewhat of a red look today, which is going to turn out pink anyway. I think I'm going to start with strawberry. And this color right here, I think I'm going to start with that one. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush. So I'm just blending that uh, into the crease and slightly above it. And this is basically like a transition shade. So far it's blending out really nicely. Can't complain. So now I'm going to take something to kind of deepen up that crease. And I think we're going to be bold. Deepen up this situation with the color cherry, which is uh, this one. So like literally the cherry one. This is the Sigma E25. And I'm going to take that cherry shade. We're just going to blend. I'm going to put it in the outer corner first to kind of see what this does because I'm scared. So I'm focusing this on the outer V and I'm taking it in very slightly just on top of my eye. I'm going to take a little bit of strawberry again and we're just going to slightly blend out cherry. Can we apply some of that pink? I'm going to take the shade Grape Jelly, which is this one, and we're going to try and deepen it up just a notch. So I'm putting that in the very outer corner and it's not really doing anything. So we're going to leave it like that. Yeah. Then I'm going to take my clean brush and we're just going to blend everything. So I have two of these. Um, they're both vegan and these are basically like these superb cream eyeshadows. So this is an orange one and then a pinky one. I love the little bear touch. That's so cute. I think the packaging is really, really cool. I think it looks bomb. And then I also have one of the diamond charts. So this is the packaging. And apparently this is just one that has more uh, glitter to it. And this is the color My Sage. So it's a really cool bronzy color. So we have Soda Pop, which is the orange. Uh, Sweet Dreams, which is a very light pink, and then My Stage, which is a really cool bronze. I think for today I'm probably going to use uh, Sweet Dreams and Soda Pop. This is the applicator of the thing, so very skinny. I'm just going to take this on my eye. So this is Sweet Dreams, so now I'm going to put on Soda Pop and we're just going to put that in like at the end and a little bit in the middle. Oh yeah, this one is also not that opaque. The orange is not as bright as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's very watery and I'm noticing that it's already creasing. So I don't know how I feel about that. Well, it creases very quickly. The orange color is not as orange as I thought it was going to be. But anyway, the eyes are currently done in terms of eyeshadow and stuff. So I'm going to move into the base and then at the end we will finish up the uh, eyeshadow and stuff like that. So I think I'm actually going to go back to the eyeshadow really, really quickly. I'm going to take a little bit of the apple shade. I'm going to put that where we had the orange eyeshadow because I do want more of an orangey zing. There we go. That's more what I wanted. So I'm going to start with the Hello Good Stuff Face Primer from Essence. So this is the one that we picked up basically. So um, then I'm going to take the Kevin Aquarium Class Glow Face and I have the shade Crystal Clear. So what I like to do with this product is I like to take out a little bit of product. I take it on my two fingers and then I take 
my cheekbones and I put it where I want it to be. I do avoid the eye area, like the eyeshadow and stuff like that. It's a really nice glow as if you're slightly sweating but not too much. Then for foundation, we're going to try out the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation from Essence. So I have the shade 040 Neutral Vanilla, which is uh, the lightest shade that I could find in the drugstore. But as I understood, there are a lot more shades of this one. I think there are about 36 shades, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to try and fact check that. 040. It looks fine looks fine maybe slightly too dark and then i'm going to take my finger and just apply a few dots on my face feels quite thick like it feels like a very dense it feels like a moisturizer yeah not too much coverage seems to have a really nice dew so where some people might think that the foundation lacks in coverage, the next concealer definitely makes up for that. So this is the Kimchi Chic, the most concealer, and it's definitely giving you the most. I have the shade TMC03 Light Beige. It has one of those brush applicators, and then you have to squeeze it and product comes out. I take a little bit because it is a very, very high coverage concealer. It's quite a thick concealer. It has more of a satin finish, meaning that it, it, it does lean towards the matte side, but it has enough emollients to not look drying underneath my eyes. So that's the concealer. I'm not gonna set my concealer because I don't feel like setting my face. Uh, we're in the middle of the winter and my skin is going through it, so. <laughs> Next up is bronzer, and for bronzer, I chose the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer, and I have the shade Butter Biscuit. We have panned this. So I'm going to take my Elf Small Stipple Brush and we're just going to stipple this onto the face. This is more of a contour shade, but I think with the look that I have on today, I don't really mind. This is one of my favorite like bronzing slash contouring products. It's just so good. And I also like the packaging of this kind of product because you can't put it on your face directly like you can with a stick. I like that you have to pick it up first with a tool. Uh, for blush, I decided to go with the Kosas Light Color and Light Cream and this is the shade Velvet Melon. I'm gonna take my uh, Real Techniques Real Setting Brush first and I'm just gonna stir it in and then I'm gonna apply it where I want it to be. This is a really nice peachy color, so I feel like it will suit the orange and the pink really nicely. Then I said I was going to maybe apply the Milani one, but I think my face already has quite a bit of, yeah, of the Kevin Aquan and then the creams are also giving it a glow, so I'm going to leave this product as is. I'm going to finish up the eyes, so I'm just going to do the lower lash. I'm not sure what I want to do. And in the meantime, I'm also going to pick some of uh, the lip products. Okay, so I finished up the lower lash. So what I did was I took the shade Apple and I put that on the lower lash. That's the only thing and I blended it out. And then I also put the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner and this is in the shade. I have no idea. I will link it down below. <laughs> so I did that and that's, uh, then I just put mascara on and I did my brows. That's another thing. I did my brows. So all that we have to do is lips. And I said I was going to decide on my lips. Didn't do it. So. We've got the lip basket right here. I don't really know what I want to do in terms of lips. I think this ABH one could be really nice. I think I'm going to take the NYX liner. And then for gloss, because I kind of want something shimmery, maybe the Nabla one in Champagne Supernova. This is the NYX lip pencil and I have the shade uh, Nude Beige. So this is a very light kind of contoury shade and what I like to do when I line my lips I like to slightly overline my bottom lip 
And then the top of my uh, Cupid's bow. That's the only thing that I really like to do. Then I have the ABH. It's been a long time since I used an Anastasia product. This is the ABH Matte Lipstick and I have the shade Kiss. I'm going to use this one because I don't have much of the stuff and I think it will complement this look quite nicely because it's one of those peachy pink kind of uh, lipsticks. But instead of drawing this on, I'm actually going to take a little bit of a brush and then I just take some product. It's just a lot more precise, a lot easier to work with and every lipstick feels as if there's nothing on your lips. I think I'm gonna put the gloss on top because it's just gonna give something extra to the look. So this is the Nabla Shine Theory Lip Gloss and this is the shade Champagne Supernova, a beautiful orange bronze with lots of shimmery golden deliciousness. So I'm just really happy with the look that we created today. I think the eyes are really, really gorgeous. Like I said on my Instagram, I kind of want to change the approach that I made towards makeup. I kind of want to change up a few techniques. I kind of want to change the overall look of my makeup into something that is more, less like the UK makeup artist and like the bunch of cut creases and like, you know, who can do the most cut creases. That's fine if that is your thing, but I found that it was just putting a lot of pressure on certain artists and you never feel like your work is good enough. And I do want to keep up with the trends. It's just that that kind of very creative, almost like, like just the entire transforming your face and stuff like that, that is just not something that is really my cup of tea anymore. I kind of want to do stuff that is softer in terms of blending but I still want to keep what I love the most which is color and I I love playing with color so that's something that I didn't want to give up I just kind of want to change certain techniques and I think today is kind of the day that I achieved what I wanted to achieve so I really want to play with color and I want to play with color combinations but I want to keep everything quite soft and blend it together. So I think I'm, I'm looking at my monitor because I just really like how I look right now. <laughs> so I'm a big fan of this eyeshadow palette from Kimchi. I think it blends really, really nicely. I love the reds in this palette, like apple and uh, what is this? Apple and cherry. I love that. I'm not that enthusiastic about the these two, like the part, the creams. They were just a little bit below my expectation. They were not as opaque as I wanted to be. And this orange wasn't as vibrant as it is on my eyes right now. I did put a little bit of the apple shadow on top. Uh, the foundation, I am a huge fan. Oh my gosh, this foundation is absolutely beautiful. The Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Wow, I'm gonna continue using this. I'm blown away. Uh, my face does not look dry. It does not look textured. I really like the amount of coverage that it gave my skin because it's a light to medium coverage type of foundation and it's just it's letting my skin breathe. It's very weightless <laughs> and I just feel like all of the other cream products really blend it very nicely on top of as well so i really enjoy that so that's it for today's video please let me know what you think of this look down below and what you want to see more of in the future give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more all of these products that i use today will be linked down below and i'll see you in my next one bye